YouTube. Thank you for coming on to this theme hospital let's play. I'm so excited. I've not been on Origin for absolutely ages and then when I went on I realised that this is actually free and I haven't played this game in forever. So I thought what the heck. Let's have a look <clears throat> and see if I can remember how to play the damn thing. Oh, this is Windows 98, man. <coughs> the glory days. Okay, so I have played the game before, a long time ago, mind you. <clears throat> so, we're going to start a new game. So, obviously, if you're a big fan of Theme Hospital, you'll know there's three... Um, Difficulty settings, you've got easy, which is junior, uh, medium, doctor, and hard consultant. I don't think I'm consultant worthy. <laughs> I'll be honest, I, I never really got a lot far in this game, so we'll stick to medium. Uh, it's not my first game, so I'm going to stick to no. Uh, we'll keep on high resolution. I'm sorry, high resolution, yeah, so no. Okay, fantastic. Oh, do you know, there is a cheat on this where apparently you can pick any level. Um, but don't ask me what it is because I don't know. Okay. <gasps> oh, here we go. Welcome to your first hospital. Get the place up and running by placing a reception desk, building a GP's office and hiring a receptionist and doctor. Then, wait for some business to come along. It's a good idea to build a psychiatry department and hire a doctor with psychiatric qualifications. A pharmacist and a nurse are also essential for curing, oh, curing <laughs> your patients. Watch out for real cases of bloaty head. An inflation room will soon sort those out. You'll be looking to cure 10 people and make sure your reputation doesn't drop below 200. Okay, so easiest level out of everything. Um, give me one second. So, I was always remembered to tell, they told you to turn the vol the speed right down because it gives you a lot of time. So if you check out the hospital, so it's actually one of the biggest hospitals that you actually get, and you don't use all the size. I think I've only ever used half of this before. <clears throat> so let's get started. Actually, put that music back on, but just turn it down a little bit. There we go. Okay. So, you just basically set out and start off with the basics. So they do say that the doctors like to have big rooms with lots of windows. So, I literally just put everything in that you can. Desk. Filing oh, cabinet chair. And I like it when it's hot. Not hot, but... They don't like being cold. Uh, so put one there, put one there, uh, put one there, and then bingo there. Sorted. So that's one room. Okay. I really never understood why the general diagnos diag diagnosis room was always bigger than the GP's office because. All you have is a screen and that. That's it. I really don't understand why it needs to be bigger than what it is. But that is Bullfrog for you. Obviously they feel the general diagnosis room oh, general diagnosis room needs to be bigger. <clears throat> okay, so put this back here in the corner uh, oh, we'll put it here on the on the outside of that one lots of windows so now this room needs to be bigger because it's they have a lot of stuff to put in So 
So when it comes to fire extinguishers, you don't really um, need them at the minute <clears throat> until you place your uh, inflation clinic because you need them next to the machinery. But VIPs do like to see them around your hospital. I will pop it out. We don't have to get a dot for it just yet, but we'll put it out there ready. So at least it's more or less. There we go. I don't think I put those kind of things in the fact I have to remember to uh, <coughs> uh, put them in. There we go. There we is. There we go. Okay. So, all the kind of necessary rooms we just need. You can put a ward in, but they don't really use it. And that means you've then got your... Uh, nurse running between the pharmacy and the ward which for when they don't really need to use it it's pretty pointless so there we go <laughs> you can literally just put everything anywhere and they don't really care uh, as long as they get someone to sit down and chill. So, just toilets and then staff and then bits and bobs around the hospital and then we're done. Not that I envision we'll be having a lot of patients to use the toilets, but you never know. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Again, why would you put a fire extinguisher in the bathroom? I don't know. Here's the toilet roll book. There we go. There we go. Lovely. So, that's everything set out. We just need a reception desk. You want got loads of benches, so about uh, 20. Uh, about five six drink machines oh, a few of them got a lot of radiators i always thought when i played the game that you didn't need that many radiators but i always ended up turning up the heating which cost me a lot more money so it's actually cheaper to get more radiators to put around the hospital than it is to uh you know, if you put a radiator near a, a bench then they'll be super happy with you. I've never had complaints about it yet, so... Happy days. with this I suppose. There's no uh there's no right or wrong place with these kind of things. You just gotta place them. Especially in this level because it's more or less the easiest kind of level that's available at the minute. <laughs> uh, I suppose it's best to uh, it's a good way to practice like your management skills really because you know the placement at the minute it's really easy, you've got all the room. Uh, you just... I don't know why can't I go there? This the stupidest... I'm going to put it there, we go. Uh, so yeah, I'm saying... This isn't the hardest level. It's more or less the easiest level. So... 
it's a good way to just practice like the management skills and for example when the doctors decide to go on a break that's the usually around the time when your VIP comes to visit which is a pain in the ass there's nothing you can do about it though because they need to break so you need to be able to manage which goes for break and which stays where they are and has to suffer a bit Again, when I was a bit more of an amateur, I used to <laughs> I used to make the settings so they couldn't leave the room until I told them to. And I always used to get doctors like threatening to leave and wanting. I used to pay more money in bloody. I'll do. I used to pay more money in raises. There we go. That'll do. <clears throat> so just hiring staff, and then we can open. So generally with staff, what you want to do is you want to hire the one with the highest green bar. Uh, and obviously you want to read the you want to read the description as well. So anything with possible liability or abrasive, you know you don't want. He's good. He's a psychiatrist as well, so we'll pop him in there. If you can find a consultant as well, even better because they just literally work till they drop. Ah uh, yeah, he's friendly. The good thing is doing this level as well, and it's really good for your management skills as well, is... Let's see, we'll have to wait till February. <clears throat> this is good, you know, so you get staff every single month. That's why I would always suggest to put it on slow, because it gives you a chance to build all your rooms. I don't think I'm going to that. Uh, yeah, it gives you a chance to build all your rooms before you have to, you know, before you give you before you lose staff. So we just need another doctor really because that won't get used yet, and then that saves you money as well. This music is amazing. <laughs> and let's just turn the speed up to normal again. Hopefully, get to February so we can hire another doctor and then we can open. Terminal patient to the front of the queue. Oh, there's a red one. So obviously you pay more for your Do -do -do. Uh, for your more ex for your more experienced and better doctors, but it is worth it in the long run <clears throat> when it comes to scores and diagnosing patients and things like that. Okay, so let's get things moving. I only do this with the first part until we get a patient because if there we go, so obviously when there's only one patient in the hospital it's it, you know it's a bit easier to manage but when you start getting everyone filtering around and people being sick and people oh just reminding myself I need <sighs> See that's why I should have waited till uh, I do need a honeyman. Okay, so first notification. The blue ones are just uh, no conditions. They're absolutely fine. Yes, I know my plants are getting dirty. Just waiting for April, and then we can hire a handyman. Please be a good handyman. Why are there no good handyman? Okay, so I did say that we wouldn't need a doctor in the inflator room. Unfortunately, we've got a bloaty head person. He'll do. Go back to your pharmacy, dude. There we go. So he'll probably pop up and tell us that we've got too many doctors. <clears throat> but you can't have more than enough. If, if you're managing okay, then I say go for it. Okay. <clears throat> so these ones are pretty... Um, this is like where you pay, play your chance, really. Uh, we have exhausted all our diagnosis machines on this patient and we are still not sure what is wrong. What shall we do with the patient? There is an 86% chance that we have identified what type of invisibi uh, invisibility the patient has. So you've got three chances of send the patient home, which doesn't do anything to you. He, I think it might lower your um, 
your favorability bit. Take a chance on the possible cure, which is the 86%, or get patients to wait while you build more diagnosis rooms. <clears throat> now in the first level, there's no more real diagnosis rooms to build. So you want to see how this number is, first of all. Now 86% is quite a high percentage, so I would take a chance, but anything below 70, I really wouldn't risk. heat piles that's just a pharmaceutical drug so i think we may have cured him don't see him okay so we're starting to get a bit busy now so i'm just gonna turn the speed down to normal there we go tv personality so this is the first condition that we use a psychiatrist for which as you can see he's being treated for now and he's just cured okay so we've got our first well we had our first there he is First staff complaint, and it's our nurse. Um, she wants a raise of 36. Yeah, go ahead. And that doctor, 16. Yeah, he can have a raise. It's fine. So 46%. <clears throat> Again, it's our visibility patient. I would not raise 46% at all because, well, you don't want to die. <clears throat> so. Uh, see, not killing people uh, goes towards your um, bonus at the end of the year. So when it comes to December down here, you get a bonus if you don't have any deaths. I think it's something like 10,000 or something along those lines. Okay, so VIP is in. Usually when the VIP is in the building that's when we start getting all our doctors wanting to go and rest so i tend to move our doctors that aren't busy at the minute and give them a break see and our nurses going <clears throat> our gp's doctor's going but our psychiatrist i love a psychiatrist is going over um, oh, no. so <clears throat> It seems weird, but sometimes you can manage with just one doctor across all rooms. But patients are going to start getting wound up in a bit because we've got one, two, three, four, five, six people waiting for the GP's office. But luckily, it doesn't take too long. So he's, he's ready already. So I'll pop him in there. And he's in there. So we've got two doctors now. He wants to need a rest. He's going to rest now. So yeah, it's starting to get a bit manic now. Starting to have to pick people up. Uh, where's our psychiatrist? <clears throat> our psychiatrist is... They're going to have to work. Because our psychiatrist needs a rest. So this is the only thing with hiring one psychiatrist. See, he's not going to be very happy that I've not given him a rest. Okay, so Telegram. After visiting your hospital, the mayor of Greater Trumpton remarked, that's a super hospital and I should know I've been in a few. You have been awarded a crash grant of 1500 Your reputation in the community has been boosted. Great, so that means we'll get more patients. Get in a room, say. <clears throat> okay, so you can have a... No, no patients haven't seen you yet. He has been seen to. Okay, so you can... Don't you just hate it when you pick up something that you weren't meant to pick up? You, go have a rest. Oh, sorry dude, you can't rest. <laughs> sorry, you, you needed. Uh, uncommon cold, again. Something that a pharmacy treats, which is... Oh, good. Okay, so... You just got to keep checking the doctors. <coughs> yes, I'm gonna the rest of it. <laughs> oh, unfortunately. The only thing I can do is see if there's another. There's no another psychiatrist. Oh, we're getting rubbish. Where's our handyman? So, with a handyman, the good thing is with handyman is you can prioritize the job so if you want them one of them to concentrate on doing plants you just click that 
and the bar goes up and they concentrate on doing the plants. <clears throat> if you then want your other handyman, wherever he is, there he is. Oh no, that's the one I've just been on. Uh, where's with the handyman? Oh, there he is, see. For him to uh, concentrate on cleaning out the rubbish, you just turn that up and he'll do that. Um, you've also got to keep check on these kind of machines here. So there's this status bar here. And basically, when it goes down, it's then at risk of blowing up, which ruins your whole room. And it's, it's in use for <coughs> So it's been used four times. So obviously, if I was to press this button right here, that would send a handyman to that. He would blow on it with his blowtorch. Yep, he's going now. <coughs> and he'd fix that. And as he fixes it, it then goes up, which is fine. Our psychiatrist isn't going to be happy with us because we need him. That's it. Clean up all here. There you go. Nope. I don't never understood why they can't stay in one place. De Clean. If he's going for a break, that's fine. But he's not. His priority is his plants. Where's my other man then? Ah, there he is. You're, you're, you don't need a rest anymore. Do you sweep? Oh, see the other guy is so much better than you. Sweep. Sweep there. Thank you. 75%. Oh. Oh, see, a part of me wants to risk it. And a part of me really doesn't because I really want that grant at the end of the year. Uh, no, we'll send you home because we're literally near the end of the year and I'm not risking your health on my grants. Okay, so you've no, you've nobody at the minute. You've <laughs> just got a patient. Sorry, dude. Uh, you're okay. See, where's all our patients gone? They've all kind of disappeared. Okay, so while we've got a break, come, come here. You can have a break now. We've no patients. Go for your break. You might as well have a break. And you might as well have a break. And you might as well have a break. Everybody might as well have a break because there's nobody here. <clears throat> so, we will need somebody soon though. I know you've been still up yet. She's coming, she's coming, don't worry. She's been fully, fully cured. Not cured, but yeah. Oh, see, end of year. So, <laughs> I've never, I don't think I've ever, ever not been on the Hall of Shame. Um,. I've never really never been off that. Uh, so I'm not the richest, but I've got the height. Well, we've all got the same salary. I've cured the most patients, so that's good. I've not had a death, which is great. Uh, I've had the least amount of visitors, which is sucks. Um, but I've got the total not highest value, which is weird. So these are all the awards you get at the end of the year. So. Uh, your hostel wins an award for building the best reputation during the last year, so I got the highest reputation. Uh, having the most valuable hostel in the game, so I get more reputation. Uh, inspectors note that your hostel is very clean. Clean hospitals are safe hospitals, keep up the good work, more reputation. Uh, please accept the Bullfrog Award for the highest reputation in the last year in any hospital. Enjoy it, you've earned it. Cash award again, so that's 6000 up to there. Uh, the Life Goes On Corporation present you with the trophy for achieving no death whatsoever in the last year. 10,000 there. Wicked. And finally, your hustle has been awarded the Fizzy Biz Trophy for Soft Drink Retailing and the recognition of the number of drinks sold in your hustle in the last year. Okay. So that's 1, 11, 13, 17 grand. That puts me over. Ah, there you go, see? There you go. Dear Emery, congratulations. We at the Ministry are very impressed by your hospital winning abilities. You are certainly a golden girl in the health department. We think you'd prefer a slightly tougher job, though. You'd be paid a salary of 16050 but the decision's up to you. Are you interested in working at Sleepy Hollow Hospital? Yes. Okay, guys. So, I'll leave it here for now, and then we'll come back next time with sleepy hollow hospital okay guys thanks a lot 
rate, comment and subscribe. Thank you. Love you all. Bye.